doing field research is very hands-on. So being in such a spectacular location with unique uh, features to do field research on is just a really unique opportunity for my career and for me as a scientist. Hi, I'm Sammy Demers and welcome to Outside Science Inside Parks. We're at Yellowstone National Park with an intern who is just as skilled in field work as she is in computer programming. Let's check it out. I'm a scientific researcher. I do geology and hydrology, which means that I do scientific research and work on both rocks and water here in Yellowstone. It's an incredible place for geology and our SIP interns come in usually just on fire, very excited and ready to go to, to use their specific skills to answer questions that they have a lot of input into asking. Questions like, how much heat is leaving the caldera? How can we predict the eruption cycles of geysers and hot springs? I participate in a big variety of different projects here in Yellowstone. My main responsibility is a research project in which I'm investigating the amount of chloride in rivers in the park to estimate how much heat is leaving the park from hydrothermal features. I'm holding a temperature logger and these loggers, I place them at hydrothermal features such as geysers and hot springs. My research is very data science driven, so I use computer programming and statistics to process and analyze the data so that people can actually find out how much heat is leaving the park from hydrothermal features. Abby and um, other SIP interns that come in here bring specific skill sets and they actually will take on projects that we're not doing and they'll actually create these new projects that fill holes in our understanding of the uh, geologic system here. One part of this internship that's been really useful for me is the opportunity to participate in the entire scientific process by going outside and collecting my own data. I can use these data sets to create graphs like what you see here, this graph of chloride over many years. I created this graph using coding in a language called R. So this is a computer programming language, meaning that I write lines of code that can communicate to the computer to make scientific graphs and visualizations and to produce outputs to help us figure out how much heat is leaving the park through hydrothermal features. So far, the published research has shown that Yellowstone may be losing its steam, meaning that heat is leaving the park from these hydrothermal features and from the caldera in general. That gives us new perspective on how to look at all these geologic questions that we do have to answer to just basically one, understand this geologic system and two, how to preserve it and tread lightly on it. I have the freedom here in Yellowstone to investigate the broader research questions, to collect data sets that will become publicly available so that they can contribute to that pyramid of scientific knowledge. Thanks for watching this episode of Outside Science Inside Parks. We'll see you next time.